Hi and welcome to lesson four of course three of DMAD's free QGIS lessons. I want to start this lesson just by making a small apology. This lesson is substantially later in the day than uh, the lessons normally come out. They normally come out first thing in the morning um, in UK time. Um, when I say first thing about nine or ten o'clock in the morning. Uh, but unfortunately, because my laptop uh, had some problems, I'm a little bit behind schedule and that's why this video is a little bit later. Um, and what we're going to look at today is another example of how we can use the raster calculator, which will hopefully just show you just how powerful the raster cal calculator is um, and how useful it can be in uh, when we're working with any sort of raster data. So what I've done so far is I've just brought in the aspect data that we uh, used for from sorry that we created from yesterday's lesson um, and you'll remember correctly that uh, the aspect raster shows the the way that the slopes are facing so it's you can see it in the in the layers it runs from 0 to 359.9 which means we've got slopes which face all the way from 0 right the way around uh, back to 359.9 which is virtually zero again so we've got slopes facing in every direction and a common thing when working with plants is that plants that require a lot of sunlight are generally found on south facing slopes in the northern hemisphere and they're found on north facing slopes in the southern hemisphere and that's just because these are the areas where they can get more light um, and it's the areas that um, that they thrive in um, and so what we're going to look at today is is selecting um, our our slope uh, direction so selecting our aspects uh, for just south facing slopes so what we do is we go to raster and raster calculator and you'll see it pops up and Aspect is the only raster band that we can use because it's the only raster that we've got loaded into our project. So I'm just going to double click on aspect and you see it pops up down in the bottom uh, and I get a little note saying that the expression is valid. So if we were just to press OK now, then it would just load the raster itself. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at everything which is more than um, 90 degrees. So we want everything that's more than 90 degrees and then we're going to use this AND operator oops I clicked it twice and we want the aspect which is less than 270 degrees um, because obviously east is 90 degrees and uh, due west is 270 degrees um, so we're going to do that um, to, to just to get the, the southern slopes and you see it says expression valid but I still can't click this OK button because I just need to tell QGIS where to save the data so I'm just going to call it south facing and just replace a previous file obviously you won't have that file but just save it somewhere sensible and click OK and what we get is this new uh, raster which sort of looks slightly similar and you see it's a binary raster just like last time so it's it's got this black which is zero and the white which is one um, and the the area which is zero is the, the area wh where our logic hasn't been fulfilled whereas the area that's white is the area where the logic has been fulfilled so when we were using our raster calculator we said we wanted everything which is more than 90 degrees um, and less than 270 degrees and what we can do is we can just make this a uh, single su single band pseudo color and rather than continuous I'm just gonna change it to equal intervals and I'm just gonna change it to two then I'm gonna come up to zero and I'm just gonna turn the opacity off so it goes completely clear hit apply and OK and I'm going to remove the aspect ratio from the back and you can now see our blue areas show everywhere where we have a south facing slope and we can do this for other things as well this uh, doesn't just have to be for uh, aspects so for example in lesson two we did a slope analysis 
So if I bring that in, and you'll see in the slope analysis, we've got um, all this data. And similarly, we could use this for the example of plants again. Uh, we might want a slope which is more than 10 degrees, say, and less than 20 degrees. So if I go to my raster calculator again, you'll see that we've got a, a new two more rasters now because we've got our south facing raster that we created and the slope analysis that we created in lesson two. So I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to say that I want the slope analysis where the slope's more than 10 degrees and I want the raster slope analysis where it's less than 20 degrees. And once again, we've got the expressions valid, but OK is not illuminated, so we just need to go and save it again. Um, so what I'm going to do is just save this as a slope. Click it, press save, and then just press OK. And you'll see again we get this um, binary raster. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the zero values. I'm going to set them to transparent um, and then with our one values I'm going to make them a different color so I'll make it two classes again change this to transparent okay and then I'm just going to change this color to green and press OK and apply Okay, and then I'm just going to remove my slope analysis raster and we can see now that we've got all of the areas where we've got a slope which is more than 10 degrees and less than 20 degrees. And again, this could be useful in, in trying to sort of model some habitat um, just like we did in the last example. So I, I hope that lesson's been helpful for you. It's uh, a little bit different. Um, to what we've done before and it's building on this idea of the raster calculator and understanding the expressions and syntax which we use in GIS. So I hope that's useful and I'll see you in the next lesson. Okay, thanks. Bye.